So the next unstable injury we're going to look at is the wrist. So again, when we're using that CAST acronym, we want to make sure we have good CSM below the injury. So we check circulation, sensation, and movement. If that was impaired, then we would call an ambulance and have more of an urgent transport. And then for the A part, we want to mobilize this injured joint above and below. So for a wrist, we have the hand and the forearm. And one of the tools that works really well for this is the SAM splint or the moldable aluminum splint. So this has a piece of uh, foam padding with an aluminum sheet inside. The really nice advantage of these things is you can use it for a number of different injuries. Um, it really molds well to the patient. We even use these in the emergency department and it's got some padding to it. The other advantage is it is x-ray translucent. So if this patient needs to get some imaging done at the hospital, they don't have to remove your splint. It can actually stay on through that process. So it may cause less pain to the patient overall compared to using like sticks or uh, metal rods or tent poles or something like that. Um, this is just gonna be a little bit better. They're fairly compact and they come flat folded. They're not a huge size. Um, and you can do so many different things with it. So definitely a, a worthwhile kind of piece of kit to carry for splinting. And the way this works, when it's flat, it doesn't have a lot of rigidity. What you actually need to do is mold this. So usually making a nice hand hold, it's gonna help to keep that wrist in the mid range of motion. And then what you wanna do with the actual splint is you wanna bend it down the middle. So you're creating this curve and this is what gives it structure. So when you give it that nice bend, now it has structure to it. And what you can do is you can mold this to your arm that's of the same arm as a patient to give it some general structure. And then you can get the patient's arm applied into it and kind of adjust it into there. Okay. To secure this, uh, what we really like using is elastic wraps. So these work really well. A uh, big thing with doing wrists is getting below the thumb. So really starting here, this really anchors it on. If you miss that, they tend to slide. And then all you do is again, just keeping this snug, not too tight. You can just wrap this up to secure that splint on. And then again, once you're at the end, uh, you can either use the clips if you still have them um, or tucking it always works pretty well just to leave that on there. So now it's nice and secured. So that's the immobilizing of the wrist injury. Once we have this on, again, we wanna recheck CSM. So it's still got good color and warmth. They can feel what we're touching, no numbness tingling, and they've got some movement in those fingertips. That tells us that we didn't cause further injury providing this splint. And now we can transport and monitor that CSM as we go. This is fully adjustable, so they complain it's getting too tight. We can just simply untuck our elastic wrap, undo this, and then rewrap it a little bit looser. So that's the immobilization of the wrist injury.